Comic Palooza 2015 is almost here. You'll see your favorite celebrities, comic book creators, and authors. Hear super cool musical acts. Experience crazed cosplay events, rowdy professional wrestlers, raucous roller derby girls, literally thousands of hours of programming, and so much more. Remember, Comic Palooza at the George R. Brown Convention Center in Houston, Texas. Memorial Day weekend, May 22nd to 25th. Get your passes today. Head over to www.comicpalooza.com for all the details. Tap some. Yes, have some. Uh, welcome back to the Nerdery. I'm JD, and I am here with my good buddy Jimmy. What's up? And my wife Tanya, uh, who has a guest comic review for us. But first, Jimmy and I have the last three movie oh, poster man. variants oh, from man. DC. Oh man! Hey, look. It took us a while to get them. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you if I can cover two of these. And you cover one of these because this is your boy. Well, my boy's on the other one. One I, of them. I know, two. but you know. All right. I, I, I said we just like do them like we we like we've done usually them. do. All right, so fucking half and half. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm gonna lead off with Superman, which is a the Superfly movie poster. Never a dude like this one. He's an alien from Krypton, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, um, <laughs> I really don't know what to do with that. I really don't. Um, Dude, I dig it, man. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. It's Look at cool. The back. Look at the background. You got Superman fighting Lex Luthor and the Daily Planet on the horizon. Did you I see that? that. I see that. It's freaking cool. No, my question to you is, do you see what's on the headlights? Yes, the Superman Aww. logo. Okay. All Do you right. see what's down at the bottom? Steel in place of uh, Curtis Mayfield. Yes. Thank you very much. Well, see in here, John Henry steel. Irons yes. as Steel. <laughs> Look at the hood ornament of the, of the caddy. Yeah, it's the freaking rocket ship. It's the classic. Yes. It's the classic escape pod. So I'm I'm gonna give it a solid four four capes. Yeah, and you were like, I don't know how to feel about this one. Then well, we looked at it, and you were like, to, Holy shit, this is cool! I have to soak Excuse it all in, man. I have to soak it all in. There's a lot of stuff going on there. <laughs> There's a lot of detail in it. They went <laughs> yeah, very detailed. That's an impressive cover. Yeah, I've, I've complained about some of them in the past, saying there wasn't enough detail. It didn't look finished. This is finished. Yeah, this is a polished piece of work, and I love it. And well, if if you're on our Facebook, I I do have them side by side with the original movie posters. You give it a four, I give it a five. Chimichanga, sir. Five chimichangas. Five wow. Chimichangas. On my guy. On your guy. On my guy. On your guy. Wow. Five chimichangas on your guy. I'm, All right. I'm curious to hear y'all's ratings on that last one, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we'll save that one for last. Which one? That one? <laughs> no. The, oh, yeah, oh, okay, one. yeah. We'll surprise y'all with that. <laughs> if you're not on our Facebook, we're going to surprise you with uh, that one. This one, this next one we're looking at is, what issue is this? Uh, number 40. This all, is number all three 40. of these are number 40. Okay. This is number 40 of Bruce Wayne, the Batman, from Cowl to Scowl is the, uh, the underscore... <laughs> title of this one it is a variant of the mask movie poster and uh you've got the joker in in his full regalia impersonating the mask and it is perfect it is i, I love it i love it, it it's it's awesome there man. was no better person to use for the mask I, definitely not i mean it, they picked a the perfect movie for well, the perfect title tawny's the perfect taking, character for tawny's the taking the words out of my mouth here. Oh, no, but, <laughs> hey uh <laughs> the smile, man. The smile yeah, it is works. just priceless. Yeah, it's 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 perfect. It's, uh, it's not as bright it's, and white, but you know, it's not far from <laughs> the original. Joker, man. Yeah, it's really not far I give from it the a, original. I give it a four and a half cakes, man. I really dig it. I'm gonna give it a five. And, um, I'm gonna give it a four and a half chimichangas. As nice, well. nice. It's, it's good. It's good. Uh, this <clears throat> this last one, <laughs> Justice League number forty, folks. If you're not on our Facebook and you didn't see this, or you haven't looked at our website and seen this, it's Justice League number forty. This is the new angle they're going to be working in Magic Mike two. <laughs> so superheroes are taking everything over. That's what's going to be the next big thing in Magic Mike two. Yeah. It's going to be all them done up as you know superheroes with no shirts on. That's, <laughs> that's the part that's been hard for Jimmy to just get out. Is we're talking about the Justice League as the Magic Mike characters. Yeah, it's it's a little. Uh, this is my least favorite cover. <laughs> I, I I love it because it is so off the wall. You love it because your man's in the front. That too. I mean, <laughs> 
And who's standing immediately to his right? My other guy. Green Lantern. Yes, sir. And my guy to his left. Batman. Yep. So you guys you guys are gonna give this pretty high rating. <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm just gonna go straight off. I'm not even I'm gonna leave y'all to talk about You this. have to rate it, Jimmy. I am. Okay. And I'm rating it a even three chimichangas. Even three? Oh. Because it looks good. It looks good. It's a polished cover. It's a nice piece of work. But not my favorite. Everyone heard Jimmy say it looks good, right? It looks good. I'm just making I'm sure. talking about the art. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you, know, uh, you know, from left to right, you have Aquaman, Batman, Superman front and center, and then Green Lantern and The Flash all the way to the right and the back. It, it, it's so off the wall. It's so wild and crazy. I, I love it. It's adorable. I, I, I love it. I, I'm, I'm going to give this one also four and a half capes. Uh, it, it makes you smile. Even Jimmy looks at it and he's got a smile. He's shaking I mean, his head. Aquaman but he's smiling. has the, uh, the the retro Aquaman A he's as a belt buckle. Batman has the <laughs> yellow utility belt style belt on. I mean, it, I think it's hilarious. So yeah, four and a half cake for me. Did you not notice that? I was just looking at their different belts. They all have. Belts. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now, um, <laughs> on to red comics, the comics we have read. Um, I'm going to kick it off with Fantastic Four, number 645. Well, I'm just going to leave most of this to you, because it looks like you got four things to cover. Um, <laughs> well, we know we still got like 20 minutes, man. Do it, man. do it. Uh, 645 is the last issue of the Fantastic Four. It, it is the number four of The End is Forever. Yeah, and you know, as they've been going through these, the t- main title across the top has been burning down like a fuse. For number four, it just simply says the end. Yeah, and I gotta say, you know, I've been reading this since I think issue twelve, and I'm I'm more than just a little disappointed with the ending. But we did discuss this with Chuck at Bedrock, um, and he said that that is not the last time you will see them in Marvel publication. That will be the last Fantastic Four issue. Yes. Uh, during this new uh, Secret Wars deal. Apparently they're going to play a very large, pivotal role. Whatever's going on. Yeah. They're, they're going to be playing a major role in, in the upcoming Marvel... Uh, what What is the... Secret Wars. Is it Secret Wars? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Secret Wars between the Ultimate Earth and the 616 Earth. Well, you know, I just I expected something with a little bit more finality to it than what they did. I mean, basically, they, they ended the arc, they ended the battle, and then they just moved on. Like You were expecting people to die. No, I, I was. I, I You know, because the way they left it off, it, it sounds like, okay, expect the next, next issue next month. With a new battle, a new crisis, and all that. Well, I mean, they, instead of next month, maybe, well, maybe it is next month. I mean that is the new crisis. Like I said, yeah, yeah. like Chuck told you, they are going to play Secret Wars. Role. But you know, just you know, this is going to be the last standalone issue. I expected a little bit more final. And and if y'all listen to our past podcast, I, I, I talk up you know Dude, the, this, so the new good. villain, uh, the the Quiet, Quiet Man. Man. Yeah. And you know, I expected this huge showdown with him, and Reed Richards just hits him once and knocks him out. So. You, you've built this villain up so high, yeah, and then you thump him and he's gone. No, I, I'm, I'm really disappointed in it. I've, I've been waiting all this time for this issue. Okay, well, what, what's your rating? What, how are you, how disappointed are you? Is what I'm, I'm going to give it two and a half capes. Oh man, and you know me, I, I don't that, go I low that, numbers. I think that's very your often. lowest rating. Uh, for a comic, get, uh, no, no, no. What was your lowest? Uh, World's End. Elseworld. But I did say that that's going to have to be re-read at a later date. Yeah, okay. That was a pending rating. So okay. this is this is my lowest, you know, standing rating. So, mm. yeah. Two, two and a half. Uh, it's, I just, I expected so much more, especially out of out of such a large issue. And, yeah, I just leave, leaves it too much up in the air for it being the last Fantastic Four issue. I wanted something a lot more grand. Than okay. what I got. Okay. But I'm going to move on to uh, Liberty from Last Century Comics. Um, and who are, who is Last Century? Who, the, they're are they're local guys? from uh, right there in Baytown. Uh, we yeah. actually met. Uh, so Baytown, Texas, locals? Yes. Uh, right. We actually so. met Patrick and Travis, two of the writers. Yes. Got to talk real. with them. I know I got to talk with them a lot 
yesterday. And man, and, and they, they gave this to me, and they said they, originally, they initially only printed 100 copies of this. And it was for Comic Palooza quite a few years back. And, you know, they, they've moved com- so far past this, this universe and this character that it's not even relevant now. So they've just been giving them away. Ugh. And, man, uh, guys, if y'all are listening, I wish I please bring him back. <laughs> I mean, I, I, Find a way. I, yes. Fit, fit him into the universe. I mean, this is incredible. I haven't read The Stalker. He is mentioned in this book. But, uh, man, please bring him back. This is an incredible story, and I want the next chapter. Yeah, y'all, 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 y'all got me hooked, man. Y'all got me hooked, and I, I want, I want the rest of the story. What, what, what I like, and and what we've, what we've uh, been told, and what I agree with is it's very Kirby esque in the art. Yes. Um, and apparently the writing's really good. I want to read it, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna wait till Comic Palooza. Maybe they'll have a stray issue laying uh, around, and if they do, you damn sure I'm gonna ask for liberty. Well, we we have <laughs> we have Pat and Travis's uh, contact information, so we can get with them and see if we can get see, another copy see, over here. Give me another copy, man. All right, Sorry. we'll 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 handle that. I thought you bought that, and I was just like, oh, he bought another book. I can't. No, that I bought one. Stalker, and then they gave me Liberty. Yeah, I was like, damn it, they didn't. Give but they me did liberty. not give him death. No, they did not give me Liberty. <laughs> but they gave me Stalker. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, uh, man, solid five capes. I'm hooked. I want the next chapter. Nice. I, I, it starts out kind of slow, and it's it's very much a narrative. Yeah. But man, does it does it get you going? It gets you. It sucks you in, and it's got you right there in the storyline. Yeah. I'm not gonna spoil anything because I want everybody to want this comic. I mean, it's it's astounding. It goes all the way. And it, at the beginning, I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, well, that's their Superman. Okay, that's their Captain America. No. No, it seems like that at first. Give it two more pages. Give it another page after you think that, and you're all wrong. You've got it all wrong. Wow. I mean, and, man, I love it. I love it. I want the next one. I want the rest of the story. Okay. And, guys, if y'all have it written and y'all don't feel up to it, man, give it to me. I'll, I'll do the art. I'll, <laughs> I'll pencil it. I'll ink it. I'll find somebody to do the color on it because I want – people need to read this. This is – Five cape. Five cape. Five cape. And I know I'm very liberal with my ratings, but I do take my fives very seriously. Five capes. And if I could get another five, I would. Just like a tithe. <laughs> you know, if I could give another five, I would. There you go. So, yeah, guys, uh, check them out. Last Century Comics. They're on They're on uh, Twitter. They're on Facebook. Uh, and uh, and, and before, you, the, before you even do that, uh, you know, it, I'm, I'm anticipating G.I. Bro. G.I. Bro, yes, they'll be dropping that for Comic Palooza, and, and they are doing that in partnership with Booker T. Yeah, because he is the guy they modeled the character after. Yeah, that was actually one of his earliest uh, personas in wrestling was G.I. Bro. G.I. Bro! Yes, so, <laughs> man, I'm, I'm really anxious to read that. I'm really anxious to read Stalker, which is the other comic that they have now. Number two for that will be dropping for Comic Palooza as well. Awesome. Along with yeah. GI Bro, and I do plan on getting both of yeah, those. I'm, I've read Stalker, and I'm planning on getting it. I'm getting, I'm getting two. Did it get you hooked? Does it, it got you there? I'm, I'm curious to see where they're going to go with it because it is an origin, uh, and it's kind of a two parter. So is Liberty. Liberty is very I'll, much an origin. I'll go into it. I'll go into it. You got okay. two more books to rate here. Man. All right, Convergence number four. <laughs> man, they are really, really getting this story more and more complex. They're getting it a lot more intricate. I, I'm, I'm falling into the story. I'm going to have to reread this issue because I don't think I got it all. So, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's an incredible. It's it's getting better and better and better. I think the last week's issue, I think I gave a, a three point five or three point seven. I'm I'm giving this one a four. It's getting better and better and better. And yeah, I'm I'm, I'm ready for five this week. Uh, Convergence number five will be out this week, and I will be getting it. So yeah, four, four capes for Convergence number four. That's that's DC's doing some good there. Oh, DC is just knocking it out of the park with this event, and they're 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 putting more emphasis and thought in what's going on exactly with Convergence. Cool. Like how this came to be, and man, the ending, the ending smells spells doom. For who you don't know, but. Are we talking Legion of Doom? 
No, man, they... Oh, okay. No, not even close. <laughs> not even close. Le- Legion of Doom, that's like the, the, the bully toddlers in the sandbox compared to what, what you see on the last page. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, I also picked up... I like that. Convergence uh, Shazam number one. I like the uh, the fade-out oh, the variant. classic cover, man. That's pretty neat. Yeah, uh, just they about all of, all of the... Uh, yeah, all the sideline, uh, the side stories, they do have these... Uh, these classic print with a fade out uh, covers. Uh, for the most part, I've been opting out of them. But Shazam number one, I, I wanted so bad. Uh, and I'm not going to wait for the, to find the standard cover. I'm just going to grab it. And I read it. And I've always liked Shazam. I've always had a soft spot for Shazam. I wouldn't say he's one of my favorite guys, but he's he's like another Superman. So it's, yeah, uh, I'm there. It, it, it's Billy Batson. Yeah, it, it's it's what if Clark Kent was a little boy who turned into Superman? Right. You know, just with slightly fewer abilities. Yeah. Well, his his, his abilities are magic based, which actually yeah. gives him a leg up on Superman. That's correct. Superman, one of his weaknesses is magic. That's right. Um, well, as the dome went up, all superheroes lost their powers, of course. So Shazam, Billy Batson, lost his as well. So they're dealing with this whole little crisis that they have in their city and how they're going to deal with it, and they're actually prisoner uh, of this this little baddie. I'm, forgive me, I cannot remember the name. I read it actually a few days ago. But uh, the dome falls while they are being held prisoner. And nobody saw it coming. Not even the villains. So yeah, things go awry for the villains involved. And, you know, man, they're sticking with the original Shazam style. You know, just easy defeat. Yeah. You know, the easy victory. So... Man, it's, just, it's cool to see it at that level, and man, I cannot wait to see how they're going to tie into the convergence in number two. So yeah, that, and and all, all these uh, all these side stories, they're only getting two issues, right? Correct, two okay. issues. So if you see one of these, like Shazam or Green Arrow or you know Green Lantern Parallax or any of these, then and, and you don't want the big commitment, it's only two issues, right? You so want, you want to read a little? I, I picked up uh, when we were in Bedrock yesterday. I picked up the uh, Suicide Squad convergence, and that looked interesting. Yeah, I, I'm going to be honest. I will be picking up Suicide Squad number two because because that that uh, yeah, dude, the Lex Luthor putting together the Suicide Suicide Squad and then throwing Hank Henshaw. Into Hank it? Henshaw, yeah, which just like you said is That's highly perfect. ironic. Yeah. That's perfect. Because he's been trying to kill himself for years. Yeah. So uh, decades. Yes, decades. Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to give Shazam uh, a solid four capes, man. I, I really loved it, but I really like that retro feel. There you go, man. And, and and it's right there in the issue. If if you're into that, man, you you're not going to go wrong with Shazam. And uh, I think it's Thunderstorm, or uh, I can't remember the, his old main title's name, uh, but it's it's still out there, still on the shelves. So, yeah, if you like the old retro-style comics, yeah, Shazam is, is it for you. Cool. All right. So what do you so, got for us? All right, let's see. Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually going to lead in. What is that? That's related to my thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm actually going to lead in with uh, Last Century Comics, uh, book number one of The Stalker. And... Uh, as you have promoted them already, these are a this is a local team that is uh, that is doing this, and you know I've I've looked through this, I've read, I tried to read as much of it as I could, uh, just because of time constraints. I was very busy today. We picked it up yesterday. I did not have a lot of time to read anything. Yeah, but it's written by Travis Hupman and illustrated by Juan Romero, and uh, it, and there is also a second story. It's a two parter. So, there's a second story. It's two origin stories. Uh, the second one is called... Well, the first one's Where the Sh- Where There Are Shadows. The first one is Revolution. And that is written by Brandon Rines. And uh, the story is by Travis Huffman. Art, Peter uh, Caccio. And color, Claudio Nassari. Um, so, well, there's also a list of other names. Uh, lettering design, edited, cover, A, B, and C. And pinups. So uh, you got some really interesting meat in this this issue. It's very thick. Um, the character uh, looks like a revenge character. He he gets uh, pulled in. The the guy you're dealing with at the first is it's in November 1938, and he's being beaten 
and and I guess interrogated, you know, by this one guy and basically threatened, and they leave him. Uh, they they basically leave him in an abandoned warehouse. Um, somehow or another, he comes across a gentleman who is willing to give him abilities to, you know, seek out and take these guys out. Huh. Um, mystical abilities. Uh, apparently, the stalker is part of an order. Um, and, and you find that out later because there are two different stalkers on the cover, if you'll notice. Oh, yeah. One's um, holding six guns. The other one is holding old powder guns. Uh, uh, I actually spoke to Travis about that. Mm-hmm. And um, apparently the, the stalker is... There, there's almost always been a stalker right. for a long period of time. And it goes from it, it, individual it, to individual right. to individual. It carries over. It's, yes. not, it's not just one person. You know, it's not like Batman putting on. It's not like Bruce Wayne putting on the cape and cowl and being Batman. Although, no, it's more of a Ghost Rider spirit of vengeance thing. Right. There's always a spirit of vengeance. Right, and it, it's it's a very interesting story. The other one takes place in the 1700s. You so was telling me about that. Yeah, it's it's really neat looking. Um, and the, and both stories are done by different artists, so you get a, a, a different contrast and different feel of what you're looking at. So it's huh. it's. Great book, and I am looking forward to picking up two. I will say this for their books, man. They're very healthy. That's what I yeah. kept saying. They're they're very healthy. They're, I'll they're, pay three ninety five for a book this fucking thick, dude. This yeah, I mean is it's nice. this is this is the size of easily three of DC or Marvel. You remember that print that I got? Yeah, or one of them. Well, there's a couple of there's a couple of pinups back here. Uh, huh? There's. There's one of them. Nice. See, see the there's there. there there's actually uh, the page that you got a print of. Yes, yes, I got a print of that, and uh, then we got some black and whites back. Now here. those black and whites, folks, these things are incredible. Very, very nicely detailed. Almost, you know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking almost Sin City. I was about Frank, to say, Frank I Miller. get a Sin City feel from yeah, that. Yeah, it's my it's first neat. thought when I saw it. It's neat, and and you can tell it's artists inspired by other artists. You know? Yeah, they're they're. You know, it's not like somebody trying to uh, copy. It's somebody trying to imitate and and bring their own, you know, style to it. Uh, but yeah, I love it. I love it. And they're, and they're so healthy. They're so thick, people. I mean, they're man. They're awesome. These guys have been going for how long? Um, they've been doing it for at least ten years because they dropped Liberty. Uh, he said it was ten years ago that they dropped Liberty. They they have they have polished their craft, and I want to see more. Yeah, we're like guys, so. if y'all are listening, man. I think you have two lifelong fans right here. Yes, sir. I will buy Last Century Comics. I will oh, yeah. buy comic books from y'all. Keep going. Make them. And I will read them. And they, they also tossed us some shirts while we were there. Yes, they did. Uh, I got the their actual, their their logo, the Last Century Comics logo. And uh, yours, I believe, uh, is one of, their, one of their heroes. Yeah, it's one of their heroes in Ghost Girl. Okay. So I... I I did they not. haven't dropped those yet, and we didn't get the info on all of their universe. Like I said, they're still developing right. their universe. Right. So we're going to find out who that is. I, I want to know. I, I I left it a mystery for myself, mostly because I was trying to promote us and talk to some people. And uh, I think you know, we'll see. We'll find out who, we'll find who out. that is but, in Stalker Number Two. But Liberty as well. I want to see more Liberty. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I don't care if it's a standalone. I want to see more. Well. um... See, let's see, you got a, and I've got uh, one more book to go. Um, well, I'm I'm gonna do I'm gonna kind of comment with her on Fight Club because okay, we we did that. Uh, but this this I'm just gonna go by the cover and some of the interior. Hip hop family tree. That's a free comic book day comic, folks. And it is a three in one, uh, and it is an Ed Piscor comic. We've got ratings back here, and this this is this is actually a. Uh, New York Times best-selling series. Oh wow! I've I've never seen it before, but just looking at the cover of this, I am blown away because you see a lot of hip hop artists, a lot of recognizable hip hop artists on here. I mean, you got Biz Marquee, uh, you got Tupac, you got Run DMC, uh, freaking man, I'm just Queen Latifah, Salt and Peppa. That's OG right there. Yeah, no shit. That, Kid, that is OG. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the Fat Boys, Criss Cross, Kid and Play. I mean, the, and, and, and it's all stories dealing with them. I mean, you open the first page, it, it's even got them right here. It's the character key. That's awesome. Yeah, so you got Ice-T, Ice Cube, DJ Ella, 
uh, Dr. Dre, MC Ren, Snoop Dogg, Shock G, Peppa, Salt, Crazy E. I mean, just a whole bunch, whole bunch of uh, you know, late 80s, early 90s, yeah. even early 80s, man. They're there. One of, the, one of the coolest things about it is you open up the first page, it's the back of a guy wearing some DJ headphones and a white hat. And he's got a track. He's got a track jacket on, and says "Flash" on the back. Oh wow! It's Grandmaster Flash. That's awesome. Uh, another. I, I kind of flipped through it, and I, I do love the classic style artwork. I mean, even even the pages. I mean, the pages on this first half of the book. Look at that. That that looks like it that looks, looks like old aged. school. I love it. Yeah, it's that's, it's that's kicking cool. it old school. Um, one of the other things. The art is old school as well. Right. Right, it, it's it's beautiful, it's beautiful, and you can tell that somebody was really passionate about that music, passionate about those artists, and they wanted to bring them into a story. Uh, one of the things that I noted uh, once you get past the the first part is you have a mural of, of the Wu Tang the Clan. Wu-Tang Clan, and you got some old school Wu Tang movie characters. Oh wow! Up above the horizon, the Wu Tang logo, and then you've got all the members of the Wu Tang Clan. So, dude, I, I would say Hip Hop Family Tree, check it out. It looks amazing. Um, Tanya, I'm going to let you lead in with this one. Well, before we, get, before we move oh, on with that, I, move. I'm going to sh- give a shout out to Steven and Derek over at Southern Vapors. Uh, Jimmy, you went for the first time with me yes. yesterday. Absolutely love you guys. They're located at 322 East Texas Avenue. I can't remember the phone number, but if you listen to our last podcast... Chris went over that. Well, it's in there. And I, that was in the first half. I just want to say those guys have the best customer service and they were willing to work with you. So much to the, so to the point that we had a gentleman that walked in, looked wanted, like he just came from a pool. And he wanted sweet and sour sauce vape. And this guy looked like Zach Galifianakis. Is that a thing? Well, yeah. They made it just for him. Oh, well, wow. it, it, you know, before that, he was already asking about the uh, teriyaki vape that he wanted. That guy was nuts. But anyway. <laughs> on, on to Fight Club. Uh, Tanya's got Fight Club for us. What'd you think? I don't think I have time to say what I think. Um, it is amazing. If this was a preview for a movie, I would be there at the very first showing of that movie in the theater. Nice. Me. Now, you did straight tell me that you, you want to read this. You want to keep reading yeah, it. Yeah, I'm reading every one of these. Okay. Well, that's, that's, I'm, so, I'm, on a one to five scale, what would you rate that? Or zero to five? Six. So, wow. You know, I'm right there with her. Because I, I, I read it and then I... I they, mean, first off, keep in mind, this isn't just a Fight Club comic that somebody's trying to continue it. This, this is, is the guy this who is wrote Chuck it. This is Chuck Palahniuk. Yeah. However you say it. I'm going to do my best. But this is him actually writing the Fight Club sequel. Yeah. In comic, in comic book, book form. form. And that means that means that he was passionate enough about it to get out there and make something Absolutely. more with that story. Yeah. Uh, and Doc, Dark Horse snatched it right up. And I was Walk actually right reading about it earlier during the podcast. I was reading about somebody talking, one of the guys, that the guy that's actually doing the artwork for it, was talking about getting on board with it. And somebody had specifically said to Chuck, you should do comic books. And he said, how would you recommend that I would even get into that? And Fight somebody recommended the Fight Club 2 as an option, and then he just went with it from there. Wow. Nice. And nice. it's just, it's amazing. I, I'm not going to give you any sort of content on it, because it's like the movie. You can't discuss the movie Fight Club with anyone, because, first rule, first off. All yeah. We, all we but. can say, <laughs> all we can say, and it says it on the cover, is slide. There you go. <laughs> there you go. And I love the cover, by the way. It's, it's nice. Tyler and Jack in one face. Combined, there's a face inside of Jack's well, head. If, if you go further, if you go further, did you see the cover where uh, you have this one? Did you see this one? Yeah. This was the promo, and it some, yes, the promo posters. S- no, not just the promo posters, but some people were lucky and fortunate enough. Our friend Soren was to yes. get an actual promotional copy of the first issue, and that was the cover. There was one thing I actually noticed in one of these little frames. There's actually a Fight Club fight, normal style Fight Club. First yeah. off, it's written, you can hear their voices. It's written exactly like the movie was yeah. played. But there's a part where he's in the middle of the fight, and you see a little bit of a frame. His hand is in there, and you see the kiss on his hand. Yeah. Oh, wow. Burned the, 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 from the, the line. Star. Yeah. yeah. It's on his hand. Just those little details in it just grabbed me. Well, we got 30 seconds left. And, folks, I want to thank y'all for listening. Um, definitely enter, enter our contest. Get, get a chance 
to win your family four pack of four day passes to Comic Palooza. Those passes will not be won until Friday, so if you don't enter, you can't win. That's right, and huge thank you to Southern Vapors, uh, Chuck over at Bedrock on Washington Avenue, uh, the Chris's and Jay at All Star. Thank you guys so much for helping us out.